Hi, it's Alex. Today I have a guest, Hannah. Hi. And we're going to talk about something that goes on in some sex ed curriculums that I think neither of us are particularly a fan mm -hmm. of. So, Hannah, go for it. Okay, so I was going to talk about the gum analogy. So, like, basically how it was is, like, your virginity is like a sex of, like a piece of gum. So when someone hands you that, like, when, sorry, I'm, like, nervous. That's why, like, you never do this before. Anyway, so, like, so. So this is something that was taught to you in your sex ed. Yes. So your virginity is a piece of gum. So you go to this one person and you give them that piece of gum and they're chewing it and they like it. And then, like, you meet someone new and you, like, take that piece of gum from that person and give it to the other person. And the other person doesn't want it because it's chewed. And so that, like, almost, like, it's, like. Uh, you're better yeah no that's like literally what they teach you yeah. it's like okay. it's better to wait because you're like used yeah so if that's you have the sex message before. so so that's the, what do you think the intent is behind this what's the idea here? it's like to like the whole thing i guess they were trying to push a lot at least when i was in high school is the abstinence only so like saying that your values connected to your virginity is going to try to like stop you from having sex which I feel like is a bad yeah. way to go around it. This really bothers me. And, and like, this is a message yeah. that I see it a lot in society. I see people, especially when it comes to girls and women, like, they get this message of, like, your self-worth depends on your, like, sexual mm -hmm. purity. Like, you're somehow more desirable or more worthwhile if you're a virgin. And, like, you have things like this in sex education that are sending people this message. And, I mean, what do you think of that analogy? Do you think... It seems ridiculous Well, to me. here's an example where, like, it can be detrimental to a person. I was watching this video, and there was this girl who was kidnapped and assaulted, sexually assaulted, and she was speaking about her um, experience and about her experience in sex ed. And she said that they learned that, like, you know, when you, like, have sex outside of marriage, you're a chew piece of gum. And she said, like, after being sexually assaulted, she th thought to herself, like... I was that piece of gum and it's like the person who was making this video said she would have been better to have not gone to school that day than learn that because here's someone who was you know had no say in what happened to her and she was viewing herself as worthless at the time because of what she was taught in school when she could have learned probably something better if she hadn't even gone to school at all yeah that's a really great example of how this kind of thing can be really damaging it's like yeah. someone doesn't have any agency in what happens and then they end up beating themselves mm -hmm. up I mean as if they don't already have enough to deal with like yeah. that really bothers me like I want people to be taught things in school and in sex education that will help protect them oh apologies this is my tea timer going off um, <laughs> speaking of tea um, I want people to be taught things that will protect them and help them, like, if they're in a difficult situation, like, if someone's raped or sexually assaulted, like, I want them to have healthy ways of thinking that will help protect them. I don't want us to be feeding them kind of, like, bad values that will make them more vulnerable to suffering and hardship after they go through an experience or like Or, like, a damaged goods mentality. Yeah. Which is what those kinds yeah. of things teaches. There was a similar one, which was, like, with sneakers. Which was basically the same thing. The girl gave her boyfriend sneakers that had been used, and he was upset about it. Yeah. And she was like, "Well, they wore socks," and he was still. It was like ridiculous. This, this stuff like really bothers yeah. me. And to me, the analogy seems ridiculous. Like if you think, I think about my own life and my own sexual experience. Like being with one person in a sexual way has in no ways like damaged me mentally or emotionally or spiritually. And I think there are ways in which it can actually synergize and, and lead to better, healthier relationships. It's like, regardless of what kind of experience you have, whether you're having sex with someone or you're just like kissing or just whatever you're doing, I think like when you're with one person, like you can learn things about yourself. You can, there's just a lot of personal growth that can happen through that experience. So, and it seems to me like this analogy, it's like, it's just a flawed analogy because like yeah. sex is a complicated thing. There's a lot of, there's a lot of different facets to it, and like that analogy seems to be forcing values on someone, and that really bothered me. And I really want us to build a consensus about 
moving beyond that way of teaching sex ed and te talking about sex in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I, yeah, like, it definitely doesn't help. Like, I still remember thinking about, like, at the time, like, I guess, like, that's what they're teaching you. You want it to make sense to you. But then, like, as an adult who's been sexually active, it's like, no, that doesn't make any sense. And it may have even warped my view about, like, my worth when it comes to how many sexual partners I yeah. have. I feel like every woman worries about that. And then why wouldn't you worry about that if you're taught that you're a used piece of gum in school? Yeah. Yeah, this really bothers <laughs> me. And so I, I really appreciate, Hannah, you coming and yeah. <laughs> sharing this with me. Because I think it's really valuable when people mm -hmm. share this. I'm hoping that when people hear these sorts of stories and when people start talking openly about them and their experiences and how it affected them, I think that we can ultimately reform how we teach sex ed. And that's what I'd really like to see happen. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Hannah. You're and welcome. thank you for watching this video. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye.